Hey everyone out there. Huh. Things are um, going bad again. Early Monday morning, my fiance passed away. She she had a heart attack and she had stopped breathe, breathing. <clears throat> had a fire fire department here and they came into the motel room she was alert and breathing and then within a few minutes she stopped breathing they had a start CPR then they shocked her and the, the things wasn't quite working then they put a machine on her chest to pump her chest to pump her heart for her and she was still not breathing or anything then when I got to the hospital they had took me to a small room the doctor came in and said she didn't make it the doctor said they did uh, get a pulse back on her and everything but they could not keep the pulse keep the pulse going something like that and and they just they couldn't save her now I've been really depressed and trying to figure out what to do because I'm in a financial bind <sighs> been with her 22 years she's 45 and I'm I'm 42 and I'm really missing her I hate being alone is that oh. cause I always like to talk and when I'm feeling down I need someone to talk to I just, I just don't like being alone Being lonely is is cause it makes me stress and and like I said I I get depressed of being lonely too especially now I've been through a lot with her but I still st stuck with her. Because I love her and I care. I wish this never happened. Yeah. She was the only woman I had that really stayed in my life. She, she loved and cared about me. Oh. 
We've been through a lot. Staying here in this motel because of what my van's in the shop and then Hurricane Dorian. We need, we were staying here to be safe and everything, and then this all happened. I, it's like one bad thing goes to another bad thing. But we uh, think coming down to her passing away I and mean, it just it don't make sense. She should have still been living. She never had any problem with her heart and just makes me wonder why she had a heart attack. I just don't know if I can even be, be with someone else but I, in a way, I like to. I like to. Find someone else to be with. I'm try, trying to cope. Of what has happened. And, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Try not to break down. I just, God, this is so hard on me. She was so special to me. Because her other relationships she's had, she. But she is so bad and everything, and, and I got into her life, and she seen that I was a lot better to her, and seen that I, that I'm, I, I, I'm that I'm a real man to her. Treat her right, love her, care about her. It's bad enough I'm dealing with serious health issues. Been through a stroke. I have seizures. I have congestive heart failure, and I've already been told my heart's getting weaker. And I know it. I know the way I am. I know I'm g gonna be probably go going soon myself. I'm trying not to think about that. I'm trying to be positive. I'm only, I'm 42 years old. I don't and I don't need this. And the stress is. 
It's also taking a toll on me. Yeah. Well, I'm check. <sighs> oh, sorry, guys. Um, I even contacted her family. Yeah, they all they can say is, oh, that they knew this was going to happen. They knew it was coming. You know, how can you say that? It's like they they brought a curse on to her. Because no one knows when someone's going to have a heart attack or pass away from anything. That's that they're going through in their life. And then here I am. I have no help trying to take care of things. I'm struggling trying to do this all on my own. When I'm not financially stable enough. You know, I'm on Social Security, and it, it's just not enough to do all this. And I still got to, I got to pay for the repairs on my van, which is almost $2,000. If she was still alive, I would have, have her help. She's on Social Security too, and now I don't. I don't have that help with her. So I hope there's someone out there that understands how I feel and what I'm going through. No, we were, we never did illegal drugs. We're not our Holics or anything like that and we do everything we can to try to take care of ourselves our, our life it's just been so hard ever since we lost a home it's hard to get out of it you, you know but they try and do everything right and we're not, we didn't go do anything in the wrong way to per, just, we lost a home from financial troubles and then we had another home and that got burned down. And then that we were just that was it. We was been staying in our camper van. That kept and we started in trouble with the van. Had to keep getting it fixed and everything. It, it, it was minor stuff, but now it came down to a major problem. Had to get the heads fixed in the engine almost two thousand dollars and it's supposed to be done and ready to tomorrow Thursday I'm hoping praying that it is but like I said I, I gotta have that money to pay the shop on it you know, on top, I'm trying to have come up with money to take care of my fiance. To make arrangements to, to 
funeral home and everything. Uh, I gotta go now. Uh, I hope something else will go better. And I hope I can have love in my life again. Um, everyone out there, you know, be safe. Think about life. Life is very, too short, and this is what I just experienced with my fiance passing away. Forty-five years old. Uh, I'm gonna go everybody God bless thanks